Coming up tonight, more will be done to stop beachgoers from manhandling marine creatures after social media posts go viral. Hurt on the job, parts of a ceiling fall on firefighters amid a shophouse blaze. Two were taken to hospital. And mandatory testing for all storeholders at Red Hill Market and Food Centre in light of a recent visit by a COVID case. This is the Straits Times News Night. Good evening, I'm Dylan Ng. Measures to prevent beachgoers from manhandling marine life in intertidal areas will be stepped up. The National Parks Board says these will include increasing patrols done by its staff, volunteers and nature groups, as well as more signs. This comes after crowds were spotted at the intertidal areas of Changi Beach, poking and digging up creatures like crabs and jellyfish, then placing them in buckets, leaving many netizens outraged. Two firefighters were injured when parts of a ceiling collapsed on them as they were fighting a blaze this morning. The incident happened while they were on the third storey of an Ultram Park shop house and they were immediately evacuated and checked by a paramedic. One of them was treated on site for minor injuries and the other was taken to SGH. A third firefighter, who's a full-time NS man, had heat exhaustion and was also taken to hospital. The cause of the fire is under investigation. The MBS badge woman is expected to face more charges, including those involving the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority. She intends to apply for these charges to be dropped, saying that she should be granted immunity as a citizen for being an eyewitness or plaintiff in earlier cases linked to the Singapore Armed Forces when she was a naval officer. The case has been adjourned to July 6. She remains out on bail of $8,000. And another round of mandatory COVID-19 testing, this time for all storeholders at Red Hill Market and Food Centre after it was recently visited by an infected person. Announcing this on Facebook, MP for Radin Mas SMC Melvin Yong said it's a precautionary measure to ensure the safety of those working and visiting the neighbourhood centre, which is usually busy. Meanwhile, with the Bukit Merah view swabbing exercise now open to nearby residents, snaking queues were seen earlier today at the temporary test site at Block 125A. During ST's visit this morning, two lines had formed, one for those with an appointment and the other for walk-ins, which had 120 people waiting. The estimated wait time was one to two hours, so residents in the second queue were told to return within the next two days. Now an update on Singapore's COVID-19 situation. 14 new cases were confirmed today, all in the community. Five are unlinked, while the remaining nine are linked to previous infections. No imported cases were reported for the first time since June 29th last year. And trending today on social media, as Snoop Dogg says, let the beat drop. And Beats Electronics will drop its new true wireless earbuds next week. And a first for the company, the Studio Buds includes active noise cancellation. And it comes in red, black or white, but its colour range isn't the only way Beats is trying to draw a wider audience. The lower price for starters at almost $150 US is much cheaper than the Apple AirPods Pro. Android users can use these earbuds as well, which may be surprising since Beats is owned by Apple. They are available from June 24th. But already out now is Razer's thinner, faster, more powerful Blade 14, which has piqued the interest of gamers, including our Newsnight producers. Still the world's most powerful gaming laptop, it's being hailed as, quote, the ultimate AMD gaming laptop. Razer claims the laptop is over 30% smaller in volume compared with the 15-inch offering from competitors. Its battery can also last up to 12 hours. The Blade 14 is now available on Razer's website with prices starting at US$1,800. Have we already seen the best goal of Euro 2020? You'll be making a face like this if you scored an absolute stunner of a shot. Patrick Schick's header had earlier given the Czech Republic the lead against Scotland, then he did this.
According to football data outlet Opta, Schick's goal is the furthest goal at the Euros since 1980. The 2-0 win means the Czechs are level with England at the top of Group D. Now, will it be goals galore later tonight when the so-called Group of Death teams face off? Reigning European champions Portugal take on Hungary at midnight Singapore time before a clash between the World Cup winners at 3 a.m. France versus Germany is amid reported tension within the French camp, with Kylian Mbappe and Olivier Giroud disagreeing about how to address criticism of their teammates. But ST's sports correspondent Cezali Abdulaziz thinks the feud's been blown out of proportion. Timing certainly isn't ideal, and for both players to publicly address, uh, you know, the matter might be seen as, you know, as you mentioned, trouble brewing in the camp. Uh, but what matters most uh, are the players' performances on the pitch, and and that isn't really rocket science. They have the quality, they have the experience, they know how to get it done in a major tournament. And uh, Mbappe Giroud may not see eye to eye right now, but they know they both played key roles in in their World Cup win, and they rely on each other on the pitch. And I think as long as they're pulling together in the same direction towards you know, that goal of wanting success for, for their national team, I think they'll be fine. Big fan of Ed Sheeran, how about shelling out for old footage of him singing in his school production of the musical Grease? A 2006 DVD home recording of a 15-year-old Sheeran portraying Roger or Rump will be up for auction. The video is nearly two hours long and includes footage of his solo rendition of the song Mooning. Omega Auctions say over the past year, there's been exponential interest in memorabilia relating to contemporary artists. So if you want to own a piece of Ed Sheeran history, bidding starts on June 29th. That wraps up the Straits Times News Night. Do visit straightstimes.com to see more news and videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the button below. Keep safe and I'll see you tomorrow.